Welcome back again. I want to talk about one more issue with polygons. Let's take a close look at the screen. Let's compare my Nova Community College polygon to the place mark. You see this place mark? I labeled that place mark my house and it says my house on the map. Let's take a look at the Nova Community College right here. I named this polygon Nova Community College, but it does not say that on my map. So let's create a label for this polygon. This takes a little bit of organization. And rule number one is organize my places. Rule number two, right click properties. We're gonna do both. First rule, organization. So I'm gonna right click, add another folder. I'm gonna call this areas of interest. And I'm going to move my polygon into that folder. I'm going to drag and drop into that folder. And now you can see it's in there. Now, on the areas of interest folder, I'm going to right click, add a place mark. I'm going to call this Nova Community College. And watch this little trick. This is the detail. I want to keep this label, but get rid of the yellow tag. So I'm going to come up here to the icon palette and on the icon palette, I'm going to come down here to the bottom right here where it says no icon. And now I got rid of the icon, but now I can't click and drag this label on top of my polygon. Watch this trick. This is one of the tricks that's up my sleeve. I'm going to go to the view tab. When I come to the view tab, I'm going to give a check mark right here to center in view. When I do that, no matter where I go, that label is center mass of my screen. So I'm going to move Google Earth to it. And now I've got my Nova Community College label right on top of the polygon. So now I uncheck center in view and it's stuck there. And click OK. And now what I've achieved is a polygon with a label. So why did I organize with my areas of interest folder? Because that looks like one thing, but it's actually two things. But since I have them organized in one folder, I can turn them both off or both on with one check mark instead of multiple. Let's do that again, but with the Sugarland Run polygon. Here's my Sugarland Run polygon. First thing I'm going to do is move it into my area of interest folder. Now I'm going to add a place mark and call this Sugarland Run. Go to view, center in view, get my label where I want it. Now uncheck center in view so it's stuck there. And click OK. Now I've got four things. Two polygons, two labels to those polygons. And now since I have them all organized in one folder, I can turn all four off or all four on at one time. Thanks for watching, Macro World.